Hey y'all, Coach Nefai here, talking about our Father's name, or the different names for our Father in the Bible. We recently got a comment from one of our latest videos. The video talking about the importance of learning the 76 names of our Messiah's ancestors in Hebrew. And in that video, I pronounce the Tetragrammaton as Yahuwahu which is kind of like the name we're used to, Yahuwah, with an extra U at the end. Now, I'm not claiming to be an expert in the Hebrew language at all. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I am an advocate for the word having four syllables opposed to three or two. I am making a stand saying the Tetragrammaton is not Yahweh or Yahuwah or any of those other words that don't have four syllables. But we got this comment from Kingdom Chow. She's asking about the U at the end of the word and where I got that from. She says it's most likely Ah, and I'm not in disagreement. Like I said, I'm not an expert at all. I just want to pronounce it with four syllables. And it matters to me not what the vowels sound like as long as it's okay with my father, hallowed be his name. But in my efforts to show her that I wasn't just making up stuff, at about two o'clock this morning, I started responding, showing her where I got that from. Where do I get the ooh in Yahuwahu? Hallowed be his name. And in doing so, something surprising came out. I mean, at first when I had done it, all I did was look through the scripture and look for words that ended in the eight sound. And what I found was most of them ended in the oo. And so I went with that. But this morning, as I was going down through the strongs and looking for as many of these words that ended in the oo that I could find, a very significant pattern appeared. Something I wanted to share with you guys. Something significant about our father's name. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised to see what I have to show you. So let's get right into it. So we're over here at BibleHub.com looking at Hebrew number 3068, which we recognize as our father's name. Like I said, I pronounce it Yahuwahu because of the four letters to me means it has four syllables. You see, the definition of the word is the proper name of the God of Israel. But look at what happens when we look at Strong's number 138, which we find over in 2 Samuel chapter 3 and verse 4. We see that it ends in the het, as does the Tetragrammaton. But notice how the end of this word is who. The whole transliteration is Adanayahu. And not to keep you guys in suspense at all, we're going to see this commonly throughout each one of these words that we look at, how they all end in this ooh. That wasn't surprising at all. What was surprising is how they all end in Yahoo, and they have similar definitions. For instance, how this one says, my Lord is Yahweh, or my Lord is Yahuwahu. Hallowed be his name. Let's look at the next one and I'll show you what I mean. Blow it up so we can see it a little bit better. But the next one we'll look at is Strong's number 1147, which we see in 2 Samuel chapter 8 and verse 18. Its transliteration is Benayahu, and its definition is Yah has built up, or our Father has built up. The next one is 558, found in 2 Kings chapter 12, verse 21, is pronounced Amatsayahu and means Yah is mighty. Now, it only takes two points to make a line and three points to make a pattern, as we learn in engineering school. But notice how these are going to keep coming out this way, like 2518 which is in 2 Kings 18 and 18, 
pronounced Chiu Kai Yahoo or something like that. It means my portion is Yah. 6305 is pronounced Pity Yahoo means Yah has ransomed. Strong's number 6667 has the transliteration of Tidiskyu Yahoo and means Yah is righteous. 6410 or Pelit Yahoo means Yah has delivered. While looking for the U at the end of these words, I believe I found our father and his different names, like Cheshab Yahu, which means Yah has taken account. That's Strong's number 2811. 2900, Yahu means Yah is my good. Then 1232, which looks like Bukkil Yahu means proved by Yah, or another name for Levite. And lastly, we'll look at 3050, which the transliteration for it is just Yah, but it ends in the same letters as the others. The Yad and the Het, which we've seen several times, is transliterated as Yahu. So, why is it when we see it by itself or they're just saying Yah? Shouldn't this be Yahoo? Now, again, I'd say I'm not an expert on the pronunciation, but it is definitely a two syllable word. And what we've seen so far, every other time that we've seen these two letters used at the end of a word, they've said Yahoo. So is Yahuahu the proper pronunciation of the word? I'm still not sure, but I'm more convinced than ever that the Tetragrammaton is a four syllable word. But anyway, these findings on these other names representing our father is definitely interesting as well. Have we found something here? Tell me what you think in the comment section.